So this is the collection here of what we're gonna do today. Welcome to day one of the Traxxas XRT build series. Let's get it. Let's grab some of these. Grab this, grab this, grab this, and let's grab this. Look, that made a bit of a dent. Gotta start somewhere. This thing is really big. All right, I'm really excited about this today. Here. So let's start by opening these guys up. Very nice. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Let's open the wheelie bar, anodized in the center. Just feel substantial. These feel solid. Few more pieces to it so this is the collection here of what we're gonna do today let's take that thing apart all right and there's our assembly so now we can go ahead and start putting this thing together it's like it goes that way let's grab one of our drive shafts here pop out the pin or not free, made out of hardened steel. Let's just zero this out. So the stock ones are about 5.5 and upgraded ones are six. So these stub ends are a little different. So one has a pin and one has a spline hub. That the spline hub goes into a plastic hex, which is okay, that'll work nicely, but this might strip, but knowing Vitavon, they put in like a real beefy pin and their hex, which is aluminum. So this stub is also aluminum, whereas this is steel, hardened steel. So this is gonna be much beefier. Now we need to take these bearings out. Got two different sizes, obvious fit. Traxxas on Traxxas, and then plastic, and we've got some upgraded metal ones, so. Pop that in. Okay, hinge pin retainer. May as well get some Loctite out here. All right, nice and tight, but it flows freely. So, so we know it sits this way. So we're going to put the drive shaft in. The pressure fit, I like that. Those bearings are seated correctly. We're gonna get this pin in. This pin right here, we want to definitely get some Loctite on. That, these tend to come loose. Soak that up. All Pop right. that in there. Get that nice tight. This gets seated on here. Dab a little Loctite on these guys here. Let that sit and dry. Number one, complete. Everything's nicely labeled, so we know this is the left. Pop our drive shaft in. Whoo! All right. Nice movement. Let's do the other side. There's two. Nice and snug. These are looking fresh. Yo, let's get the rears on. Good to know. Reference. It just pops right out. Pins in here, pull off the hex, get the bearings out, the right hand side. So we're gonna pop this bearing in, that bearing in. New drive shaft, correct. And just pops right in. Let's get our hex gear, pop our pin in. Gotta make sure it's even on both sides. Glue it in, nice and tight. So the hub carrier sits up, pop it in. Oh, I love this system. It's so fast and easy. Boom. Otherwise, looks pretty sick. Let's pop these rail guards on. These Trio outboards, nice blue Loctite seats up in there. Screws. Holy shit. All right, let's do the other side. Well, that was easy. Look at that thing. Holy smokes. 
Yo, I'm liking where this is going. All right, so we got the bell crank to go in, the wheelie bar, and the brace. So I say we do the wheelie bar here next. Stock wheel, upgraded wheel, which has a bit of rubber here, so it's got a bit of grip, which might hold when you're wheeling instead of spinning out, so that's nice. Comes with these aluminum centers. So I guess you pop in a bearing, like so. Big difference, this one barely spins. This one spins nicely. Success. Looking sharp, looking sharp, looking fresh. What's next? So the next part is getting all of these in and the bell crank and the stiffener. We need to open this up. Plastic seems kind of flexible in here. That's interesting. So many bolts. So obviously Vitavon's done a good job on this. This plastic one here just is flimsy. All right. We still need all of these bearings because that set doesn't come with it. There we go. So this is the new one. One, two. But, um, no. Oh. This can come out. Looks like we're supposed to keep this bottom piece still. This is obviously like a higher grade plastic here for the updated servo saver. This comes out. I like my servo savers pretty tight. Moves a bit. Crank that down. There. Nice. That should move freely in there now. Oh, we got the upper brace stiffener. There we go. Guess we put this stuff back. Right, this thing is coming together. Let's grab the body. Pop that on top. I mean, that's basically an ultimate right there. Other than doing the shocks, this is what you would get in an ultimate. So to recap this video, we did the front hubs, knuckles, and drive shafts. We did the hub carriers in the back, the drive shafts. We did the wheelie bar, and we did the nice side skirts. We also went in and we did all of the bell crank and the stiffener to make sure that we get some nice tight turning. We're not flexing the chassis too much. Now, video number two, we've got a ton more parts. And what I'm thinking is we're going to do all the gearing. And then we'll get to suspension and electronics in future videos. So, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see all the other upgrades we're going to do. Because the series is continuing. And once we're done building, we're certainly gonna go bash it. So, stay tuned. Peace.